a strong delusion. My channel got a flag. I played a video about that right after the election. Y'all say he was sent a strong. I hold on to that word strong. A strong. What's a strong delusion? What do you think about when you think about strong delusions? <laughs> that pie has been seared in. Something is seared. You can't, you can't undo it. You can't get it out. See. Think about an iron searing something. See, if you believe the election was stolen from Donald Trump, you received a strong delusion. I got news for the whole world. And they, they was coming out in those hearings. Donald Trump knew he lost. He even admitted. But because he was elevated in the minds of of the people who was pushing him because they worshiped him, right? The son of perdition. He can do no wrong in their eyes. He's a Cyrus. In their eyes, he's a Cyrus. But he's not a Cyrus. He's a Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> He's a Nebuchadnezzar. The strong delusion had deluded the minds of the people to believe that, and some some people that have rejected him are going to embrace him as a result of his Roe v. Wade. That's why I'm talking about it. That's why I'm talking about it. Some of y'all, if you're not careful, are going to bite into it. You're going to take his mark. Don't fall for this. Don't fall for the okey doke, as they say on the street. Don't fall for the okey doke. You you better be in tune with the spirit to see what's happening. The enemy is setting up a trap for the inhabitants of the earth. You just read that. Satan has come down, right? It's like the Messiah came down from heaven, sent by the Father. Satan has sent his son. It looked like DJT is that son. How many of y'all ever seen a president out of the office and has and makes more news than the current president? He's more in the news than the current president. Especially since they put this hearing out there. Everybody in the world is watching this here. Except for, well, they want you to believe they ain't watching it. Oh my. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right. I, I go way out in that arena. From, from from Exodus 19. Why? i tell you why. Because you are those chosen people, right? The world are going to know one day that you so-called Negroes and Blacks, who they call savages that they brought to America to civilize, the whole world going to wake up one day and they're going to see that you are those people that the Most High chose. Everything is about you. Because when Israel returns back to the place of the covenant, what happens to the nations? They're overthrown. Most High reinstates the people that he chose, who he called by his name. He reinstates you back to your place. And all those people that have taken your place, guess what? They're going to be serving you in the kingdom. That's why the enemy don't want you to see that. That's why he said, he said, oh, let's go back to Exodus 19. We're gonna, then we're going to go to, to, the, to the lesson. All right. Since we didn't cover all of that, 
So when they departed from Rephidim, they would come to the desert of Sinai, pitch a tent in the wilderness, and there Israel camped before the mount. Verse two, verse three. All right. You gonna read it? And Moshe went up unto Yah, and Yah called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Yaakov, and tell the children of Israel. So he didn't say, say to North America. He didn't say, say to the right wing. He didn't say, say to the Christian evangelicals. He didn't say, say to the left wings or anybody else, but say to the children of the house of Yaakov and the children of Israel. And so and even so today, we used to believe that we were spiritual Israel. So you can't be spiritual Israel without a natural Israel, right? All right, go ahead. Ye have seen what I did unto the unto Mitzrayim, and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Stop there. So the Most High took Israel out of bondage, out of slavery, servitude, out of being the merchandise for other nations, and brought us to himself back then and the same thing in today's time the most high is going to gather us from around the nations that make a merchandise out of us to bring us to himself just like he said in deuteronomy chapter 30. right all right go ahead now therefore if ye will obey my voice indeed stop right there that's the key obey his voice but satan's religion satan's law says you don't have to obey the creator right so that's the thing that's preventing the true israel from being israel because satan has deceived us into believing that we don't have to obey him because why in obedience to him is what causes us to do what we're gonna see in a minute all right go ahead keep my covenant and then shall be a peculiar and then ye shall be a peculiar treasure so when we obey his voice and keep his covenant he said we're going to be a peculiar treasure uh-huh go ahead unto me above all people above all people so the most high has made you better than all people if you do what obey his voice and keep his covenant if you don't obey his voice and keep his covenant then you will not be a peculiar treasure and above all people and you will be what what's the opposite of that don't be hated right hated of all people all right go ahead for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a kodesh nation Stop right there so the most high is calling us to be a kingdom right let that let that set in right not broke not having no financial resources when the poverty when when the recession takes place because it's coming when there's a shortage of food israel is strategically in place you better get those gardens going maybe the most high allow that that blade the spring to go out so okay all right let that grass grow go plant some vegetation <laughs> my wife been proactive you got some kales and yeah with corn i saw corn out there wasn't the corn i don't think i, don't think I saw the corn cucumbers tomatoes yeah cucumbers, right tomatoes. there's a famine coming brothers and sisters there's a famine there's a famine coming be ready all right go ahead these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of israel okay so that's what the most high is communicating right now what i want to do let's get into the lesson all right and real, real quick i'm going to be in and out the way it's going to be kind of like an introduction remember I, we, we promised a series on the law right so this is going to be the introduction to it, right? So Yah's law is not by force, right? We're going to read it. We're going to prove it to you, right? All right. So let's go to, um, 
our base scripture for today. Um, hold on a second. Let's go to, I mentioned it, so let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 30. All right. So go to Deuteronomy chapter 30. And uh, let's see. And uh, start at verse 1. This is, this is what why there's a war in heaven and why the dragon was thrown out of heaven because the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed why to keep you oppressed and out of position uh oh we've been an oppressed people brothers and sisters All right, Exodus, Deuteronomy. I got, I, I got Exodus there. I said, I said Deuteronomy. That's what I mean, Deuteronomy thirty. All right, okay, go ahead. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither Yahuwah thy Elohim have driven thee, and shalt return unto Yahuwah thy Elohim and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahuwah thy Elohim will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahuwah thy Elohim have scattered thee. All right, start right there. So that's what your goal should be. Your goal should be to return to Yah, not to excel in the lands of our captivity, right? Not to excel in the lands of our enemies, but what? To get reinstated back into Yah's good list. To be reinstated back to good standings with the creator of heaven and earth, whose name is Hallelujah. All right, that then he said in these lands, in these nations where we're in, that's what the enemy's trying to do. He's trying to cause a distraction to make you think, oh, maybe what's up to Christianity? Maybe I need to leave this Hebrew Israelite, black Hebrew Israelite cult and go back to Christianity. Don't you fall for that trick. Most I had introduced you to the covenant of your fathers that this book is all about that this whole Bible, the whole thing is about Yah, the creator. It's about what? An oppressor, an opposer, Satan, the devil, and what? A chosen seed. You go to Genesis chapter 1. He chose the seed, the seed of the woman. And what happens then? He chose the seed of the woman. And the enemy, Satan, Hasatan, the devil, the accuser, Lucifer, Halal, you name it, has come against the seed of the woman to do what? To kill the seed. This is about you, brothers and sisters. All right. Now, in these lands of captivity, the Most High is trying to get us to do what? To return, not to religion. Hebrew Israelite is a nationality. It is a nation, not a religion. We have been labeled religion. It's not a religion. The Bible is not a religious book. It is a book of instructions for life. We're going to see that in this lesson as we continue to read. All right, go ahead. Where are you at? Verse, verse 4. Verse 4. All right, go ahead. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahuwah thy Elohim gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee and Yahuwah thy Elohim will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed and thou shalt possess it 
and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah thy Elohim will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love you.